Well, with less than a week to go for the U.S. presidential election, my colleague Jyotsna Kumar tells you more about the stories that are shaping the race to the White House. All right, with just days to go for the U.S. presidential election, let's take a look at the stories that are shaping the race to the White House. In a campaign stop in Arizona on Thursday, Vice President Kamala Harris criticized Donald Trump's recent comments on women's rights. Now, Harris argued that Trump's statement that he would protect women whether they like it or not reflects a fundamental misunderstanding of women's rights to make personal decisions about their lives and bodies. The Western Swing State event highlighted Harris's stance on reproductive freedom and autonomy as a key issue in the 2024 election. And this is not the first time he has told us who he is. He does not believe women should have the agency and authority to make decisions about their own bodies. This is the same man who said women should be punished for their choices. He simply does not respect the freedom of women or the intelligence of women to know what's in their own best interest and make decisions accordingly. At a campaign event in Pennsylvania, Democratic Vice Pres Presidential nominee Tim Bowles criticized Donald Trump's economic record and took, him, took aim at the recent partnership between Trump and billionaire Elon Musk. Walls highlighted Musk's role as Trump's proposed economy czar and questioned Musk's assertion that economic hardship may be necessary to improve the system. Look, if you were a billionaire like his good buddy Elon Musk, things were really good because you got a tax cut, the rest of us got screwed. That's the way it worked during that time. Now, Elon says he is going to be, if Trump says it, he's going to be Trump's economy czar. Now, he says to, to make the economy work better, we're going to have to crash it first in order to save it. Now he told you, he told you, get ready. Elon said, American folks, you're gonna go through some hardships. And on the other hand, former president and Republican nominee Donald Trump made a campaign stop in New Mexico on Thursday, a state he lost by 10 points in 2020. They said, don't come, you can't win New Mexico, but I said, we can win New Mexico, is what he said. At the rally, he also aimed to appeal to Latino voters, despite recent controversy over comedian Tony Hinchcliffe's comments about Puerto Rico at an earlier Trump event. Hispanics love Trump, Trump said, adding, they're smarter than the person running on the Democrat side. You know, in the East Coast, they like being called Hispanics, you know this? On the West Coast, they like being called Latinos. So, poll, a free, give me a free poll. You know, I don't have to spend $300,000. First is gonna be Latinos, next is Hispanics, right? Which do you prefer? Latinos. Uh-oh. Uh, let me give it one more shot. Latinos. Hispanics. Now, Trump claimed that fraudulent voting could impact Tuesday's election, echoing his unproven allegations of 2020 election fraud. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.